Hey everybody, it's Adam with White Whale Wellness. Today I'm going to show you how to use a scale to weigh and measure your foods. Okay, so as you can see here, I have two different scales. One is a larger scale, which I use to just keep at home. And another one is a little bit smaller. It's more travel size. I can take it along with me. But let's get into actually learning how to use it. Each scale has a button to turn it on and off. They also have one to zero it out. And I can explain what that is here in a moment. And then also a button to change the units, such as grams, ounces. For the sake of this video, we are actually going to focus on the larger scale. Now, all scales do the same thing. They typically have similar buttons. So, first things first, we do want to turn the scale on. Okay, that'll load, and as you can see, it is zeroed out. So no measurement will actually occur until obviously you put something on it. So for example, we're gonna go ahead and measure out some oats and then also put some milk with those oats so we can show you what all the buttons actually do. Now let's put the bowl on there or any container that you'd wanna put food in. As you can see, it has measured the bowl. So we do not want a measurement for that. So that's what the zero out button is for. It goes right back to zero. Now, as if you're looking at the nutrition label we can see a serving size is a half cup what we really want to focus on is the 40 grams since our scale can measure that so in order to get to grams we just press the unit until it's at grams so from there we're going to go ahead and just do 40 grams exactly one serving size so we'll add those in and there is 40 right there now that it's at 40 grams, which is one serving, we'll go ahead and press that zero button again. We're back at zero, and then we can measure the milk out. But since we want to measure milk in ounces, we're going to do the units again, get back to ounces, and then we'll pour the milk. As you can see, the label of this milk, the serving size is one cup. One cup is actually eight ounces, so we're going to do half a cup, so four ounces. So we'll go ahead and pour that in. Slowly. All right, as you can see, I've actually poured 4.15 ounces, which is still a good measure, close to a serving, and I can still calculate the macros with that. That is how easy it is to use a scale. So we do have the zero out button, and then go ahead and add another item, such as strawberries or raspberries or blueberries, whatever you want to use with this particular recipe. All right, everyone, that's all you need to know to use a scale to weigh and measure foods. I hope you learned something today. And if you like this video and want to see more videos such as this, please subscribe below. Also, go ahead and check out our website out at www.whitewhalewellness.com. Thank you for your time.